to examine the altar. And here's the crucifix. Must cross-check crucifix against video footage. Deacon, what we saw up there was not normal. Was not normal. So there's a church in the west country of England, in the sort of near mysterious Dartmoor, and uh, some weird things have happened. It's a church that uh, was set up by a, a priest, a Catholic priest. The church was previously derelict for about 100 years, and uh, he's moved in and decided to revive it. And uh, as soon as he has done, weird things have started to happen. There is a sect of the Catholic church, which used to be called Devil's Advocates, they're not called that now, they're called the Congregation, who go out and in the world to ascertain whether reported miracles are real or not. And uh, I am a Benedictine friar who goes out, I'm the kind of first line of attack, so I go in and just immediately go, nah mate, I can see the wires. They're very sceptical actually, they've been around the world, they've seen hundreds and hundreds of fakes over the years, so uh, they just assume this is going to be another fake. Right, we're going to set up a grid to cover the space. Um, you take the left transept, I'll take the right. Uh, what are we looking for? Well, anything that doesn't fit, you know, recent repairs, wires in the wall, just something that doesn't look right. You're thinking hidden speakers, I can... Yes. There's one very freaky looking church in, in Dartmoor, right in the middle, called Brentor, and it's just such an amazing, it kind of was the germ of the idea, really, that it's such an amazing silhouette on a hill. There's a, it's just this amazing looking church and this craggy cliff that comes out of nowhere, and it just looks so awe-inspiring and kind of scary, and there's lots of myths around that church about when the devil apparently came and visited like two or three hundred years ago and lots of cra crazy things that went on there so it was just something that yeah the idea of a, a, church, a haunted church kind of sprang from that as they go down through the bowels of the the church you know yeah. through the crypt and then into the into this this place which is as far as we're aware a natural environment all of a sudden they're in these caves which are natural you know and um and so you kind of go through throw history into the weird old England, you yeah, know, in the bowels to, of the earth. Back to pagan times. audiences should expect to be scared I hope but uh, at the same time I think entertained. It is a horror film but it's a horror film plus it's a horror film with a bit of nice you know knockabout stuff in it uh, you go on a journey with these characters. There's a lot of humour along the way there's a lot of jokes and the characters are really really funny. You enjoy spending time with these characters me in particular and um, <laughs> and and then you take then they then you follow them into the darkness you know and what l l lurks in the darkness is hopefully intriguing hopefully frightening and in the end hopefully quite surprising